Which one are you in, though? Oh, come down the front. Talking about they got everybody. In my book, Get Trump, I predicted all four of these indictments. The strategy is to get a quick trial, get him convicted <clears throat> in jurisdictions that are overwhelmingly anti Trump, and then not worry about it being reversed on appeal because the reversals on appeal will occur after the election. It's clearly a political ploy, especially since the district attorney now says she wants the trial within two months. It's unthinkable. Never in history has there been a trial within two months of a case as complex and difficult as this with so many defendants and so many counts. But what she wants is the mugshot. She's gotten that, the fingerprinting. She would like to get a quick conviction with a biased jury and then not worry about it being reversed on appeal. That's tomorrow's news after the election. That's just unfair. His campaign is also selling shirts that say never surrender with the picture on it, even though that's exactly what he did at the Fulton County Jail. Surrender. For everybody that wears one of those T-shirts, there's going to be a former Republican or a moderate Republican or an independent swing voter in swing states, suburban voter who's going to see that. And it's just a reminder why they don't want to send a guy who's probably going to be a convict by, uh, by the election. Why they don't want to send a convict to the White House. He is running on his freedom. He is running to make his supporters his human shields. That's it. It's the whole message. Yeah. Well, it's about and, and to render to render the American constitutional republican structure of judicial independence null and void. This is very, very serious. And so, you know, for all of these people doing these MAGA mugshots, for whatever reason they're doing it, they just have no understand what this really stands for. I mean, this this is not good, right? He is in significant legal trouble. And so whether he thinks this is more of a political thing that he needs to massage or not, as a lawyer, um, he needs to stand down and really focus on his defense because he is facing serious allegations um, that could end him up with serious time in prison. And that mugshot's not going to really mean anything at the end of the day if he's locked up. If you put the man back in office in January 2025, what the hell you think he's going to be trying to do for the next four years? He's not going He's not going to say, well, uh, thank you for the four years. I'm ready to move on. He's got yeah. enough role models globally to look at it, how he can try to lock in his power. And trust me, he's not going to have a Bill Barr sitting over at AG who's going to shut, try to shut down that back end process. He's not going to have, you know, people who are going to stand up to him in the FBI or any place else. He's going to put the right. sycophants in place who will nod and say, yes, sir, how much of this do you want us to take for you?